on Alan Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Right. Welcome back. This is episode three, I believe. It's episode two of the game. Hey, it's handsome. the third episode. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. Cute. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. It's a lovely home. Can't read that, it's too small. I know we need to put the, the coffee machine on. I just want to have a wee look around and make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Oh. Oh, manuscript page, that's handy. This was a late goodbye. Right, now we'll, we'll play these in order. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Right, it's getting a wee bit off topic. No, off topic, but you know what I mean. Alright, I guess we're going to turn this. What was that an open door? And in the shower? Nope. I can hear some fuzzy crap through here, the radio. Nothing in this dark dingy cupboard? Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay indoors as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're now on the third day of the blizzard, and the weather is not expected to clear up anytime soon. All right, weather warning. That's all. All right, let's go turn on this coffee machine. There we go. Coffee's on. Something gonna happen at this window. Is that all to do? Go to Alice. Oh hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. But desk occasion, is mine. I can perform all sorts of miracles, mm -hmm. my dear. Oh really? These look really good. Oh, they sure, do. until Barry gets his hands on them. 
Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. Oh, it's a shame. The shame last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan? Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? Hello. I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Mr. Wake, any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. And Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Hope so. Non examining here. All right. Oh, here we go. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your nope. phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. They want to speak to her just yet. I don't have the luxury of being complacent if you rant. The phones will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. <coughs> yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. All right, so we put a coffee hang and, uh... Manuscript here. So Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. That clearly sounds like the wee woman in the black dress that I said remained me insidious. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Go. Cool. What's up here? Have you seen this man disappeared on this 20th of the 607? Identifying feature. Knack for winning contest. Cool. Who are these three? Richard Boff. Richard Boff. Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller, and a camp trip over you haven't been in contact. If you've seen them on the river, please call. Da, 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 da. Okay. Anyone else looking over nose yet? Nothing. All right, Sheriff. Phone, Mr. Wake. 
No collectibles are in and in here. Good stuff. Here we go. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Mr. Peak. Mr. Wade, can I help you with Midnight. anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Hey! Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The nope. Deputies, Manuscript page. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Man, it won't listen to me. All right, right. okay. I need it to be bright in here. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, you just need to wait the now. Let me get this, see what's going on in the radio. Hello, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. Uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thorne had to deal with two intoxicated men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition. There's no point in getting all worked up yet. See, I ain't got the radio show like the wee host guy is like foreshadowing what's coming. There's a manuscript page back there as well. Can we jump out of this? The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Right, I know I can see it, but... <laughs> oh, wrong button! The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I really do feel as though it's foreshadowing it. Let me just Alice's sure driver's license there. had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Right, I'm moving forward now. Oh! The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, that gonna... the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. 
I'll write the story. I'll save her. Oh, that's what the boy was wanting, wasn't it? Maybe I should have done that before the movie would have. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have <coughs> inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. Oh, dear. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking at the Mets. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? Interesting. What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. The skeleton of a Colombian mammoth. Oof. It was recovered from the Labrea carpet in 1981. Okay. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? Locked. When was the last time you slept? Mm. What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a Can't best seller. Yeah. But when you start confusing fiction with Wait, reality, you're you here. yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Shut up, Batman. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Yeah, I'd shake dog. your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Yep. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Wait Listen, here. You hit your head. Shut up, big man. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. 
Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Sweet. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny at... We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! Achoo! Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This day is so not worth a 15% commission. You want to know where you can shove that flashlight? Lock hey, the folks. door when I leave. Yep, yep, you go ahead and do what you have to do. I'll be fine. Alone, but fine. In a cabin straight from a horror movie. Hey, folks, I'm going to end this one here. Um, we'll just pack up for here in the next one. Before we head up to Lover's Peak. Just explore this house first. Grab that. Can't go through here. Doesn't look like there's any other... Switch lights. Oh, hang on. Real funny, Al. Real funny. Ha ha. Thank you. I thought the lights were going to bloody come on. Come back. Right, anyway. I'm going to call this here. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.